Hello and welcome back to another video on Unpack Technologies. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to adjust the sound settings in Apple Music using the equalizer. This will allow you to adjust the volumes of different levels of sound and increase them or decrease them depending on your preferences. So, let's get straight into it. Alright, so this is a pretty straightforward process, so hopefully it's a nice and short video today. But to do this process, all you need to do is go down to the Apple Music app here. Um, this is for Mac, this tutorial, but um, you should be able to follow along if you're using the iPhone as well. You can go into settings and you can change these same sort of settings. The Mac just has a few more different options here. So once you're in Apple Music, it doesn't matter if you pay for Apple Music or not, you can do this even just for your own uh, library. But all you need to do is go up to window in the menu bar. So I'll say window, click on that, and then go down to where it says equalizer. Now there is a shortcut to enable the equalizer. Um, you can see here is option command E. So if you click that, that will open up the equalizer as well, like what I've done there. So into the equalizer here, you can see that by default, it's turned off and it's on flat mode. So this is just standard listening. So all you need to do is if you want to adjust these settings, you can turn the equalizer on and you can adjust this while the songs are playing as well. I won't be playing any songs today because of copyright, but you can adjust it while the song's on so you can hear what's happening. And what you've got is you've got the preamp on the far left here. And as soon as you change any of these settings, it will flick it into a manual mode um, based on um, what you're changing here. But you can change the preamp all the way and all these can be changed from up to 12 decibels and down to minus 12 decibels so you can change this this will change the overall volume and then all of these will individually change all of the settings for each of these different levels now i'm no expert at sound or music so um don't quote me on any of this but so i don't really know exactly what um these different uh things change here but i do know that the equalizer will change the volume so this is how you do it if you want to get into those details about what the music sounds like. Now, there's a drop down up here um, and you can click that and you there's a whole heap of presets that come with the Mac. So you can see here, we've got acoustic, we've got hip hop, increased bass, um, we've got loudness, piano, all this sort of stuff. And what you can do, for example, if we wanted to increase the bass, you'll see when we click that, it's the preset and it increases these um, levels here to help increase the bass and then you can adjust these as much as you want if you really want to uh, increase the bass there you can do that I'm not sure how that would sound there but um, and then you can same thing for if you wanted to say do piano there's all these presets that will help really enhance those different sounds and um, you can adjust these to your liking now you can see that when it goes into this it goes into a manual mode so what you can do here is you can actually go up and click make preset. Now this preset, let's just say if I change a few of these levels here, I don't know what this would sound like, uh, probably not very good, but um, just for demonstration purposes, if we do that and then I wanted, I really like that sound for example, all I have to do is click the drop down again and click make preset. And then I could, for example, call this test preset and then okay. And now that's saved as test preset and it's now in my presets list here. Um, now, the other thing you can do is click edit list, and let's say you didn't want some of these anymore. Um, you could choose one and click either rename, so you can rename it to whatever you like, or completely delete it altogether. And for example, for this test preset here, if I wanted to rename it at any time, I could. Uh, so if I just went to test, um, I could just uh, change it to that or I could delete it altogether and then click delete here and th that then removes it altogether. So that's a pretty simple way of operating the equalizer here. You can turn it on and off at any time if you don't like it. So turning it off will just reduce it back to a standard flat level. Um, and then I'll just put it back to flat 
so it's normal again. And yeah, that's pretty much the basics of the sound equalizer. I'm sure many of you would know a lot more about sound than I do, so you'd be able to really fine-tune this to what really sounds good for the different types of music that you're listening to. But that's just the basic how to adjust that, and then you can adjust and fine-tune those to your personal preferences. So yeah, hopefully this was helpful and gave you a good idea on how to adjust the sound settings for, for each particular song on Apple Music. Thanks for watching this video on Unpacked Technologies. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.